Welcome to Electron Online. Here in this example, again by first inspection, you can see that when you plug in x equals 1 to the numerator and the denominator, you would end up with 1 minus 1 is 0 divided by 1 minus 1 is 0. Again, 0 divided by 0, which is indeterminate. Therefore, you would say there's no limit to this particular function when you let x approach 1. However, we can factor the numerator and the denominator, and when we do that, we probably get something that we can't find the limit of. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1. The numerator can be factored into x minus 1 times x squared uh, plus x plus 1. And the denominator can be factored as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So here you can see that the x minus 1s cancel out, and now you can go ahead and allow x to approach 1, plug in 1 for all x's in the numerator and the denominator. So this is equal to 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1. So this would be 3 divided by 2, and that would then be the limit of that particular function as you let x approach 1. And that's how we do that.